These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to showcase how to enable cheats for your PlayStation 1 games with PopStarter, with OPL, and this applies to the USB method, SMB network method, and also internal hard drive for the fat PS2, and I'm running free McBoot 1.95. I will say right now that not every single cheat for every single game is going to work. So some of the games that I've tested, the cheats do work. Other games, the cheats don't do anything at all. So it's just sort of hit or miss. You're just going to have to play around with it yourself. So let's get started. First thing is, this is a, I have a link in the video description to this PopStarter wiki. This gives a basic information on how your cheat method is set up basically. So you're going to have a cheats.txt file. Inside this file, it has the cheat codes basically. And you can read this more, but the next thing is where do I find the cheat code? So there's a website called gamehacking.org and here you can type in the name of the game and uh, as an example, let's say Marvel vs. Capcom, right? And here I have the USA version and then down here you can find um, a list of the different cheat codes for that particular game. So what's important is I know that different games have different regions so make sure you select the correct game. So here, if I go to Marvel vs. Capcom, we go back to the list, we see that there's different uh, games here. And I actually clicked the wrong link, actually, now that I think about it. This is the actual, actual link that I want. So you gotta make sure you are aware of that as well, because it does make a difference. Okay, so next is OPL Manager. I like this program, I highly recommend you get it. Not only does it help you rename your games properly and get the cover art, it helps manage the cheat files a little bit easier as well. So let's go ahead and let's run that program, OPL Manager. And right now I have it set up to automatically default to my SMB shared folder on my PC. And I have one game installed currently, Marvel vs. Capcom. So on the right hand side, click on Cheat Editor. If you don't have any cheats, it will ask you to create it, say yes, and then you'll get this screen here. So the first thing you want to do is add safe mode. That helps with the cheat engine. So for example, you just double click on the special codes over here. It'll bring it over here on the left-hand side, but I already have it at the top of my list here. And then we have a bunch of different codes that I have here. Where did I get these codes? Basically, I got it from this website over here. I just, you know, find a code here, copy it over here, and then just paste it into the cheat program, basically. If a cheat code does not have a dollar sign, that means it is disabled. If it has a dollar sign in front of it, that means it is enabled, basically. So in this particular case, this uh, player two one hit kill, uh, these, this is the code for it. And I have it turned off right now. And then these two lines is related to the player one one hit kill. And that is enabled as an example. So that's how that works, right? So you just, once you're done, click on save. And if I go to my shared folder, I'll show you what that, that structure looks like. So PS2 SMB and I go to pops and the OPL manager will also make this folder, or OPL would also make it as well. And it will dump the cheats file right here with your slot zero and slot one dot VMC file. So if you don't have OPL manager, or if you wanna do it manually, you can create the cheats.txt yourself and just do all this stuff over here by yourself as well. So that works. So that is the structure for the SMB method. And if you're curious about what does the USB method looks like. So on your USB, you should have a pops folder. Inside the pops folder, you have your game. So in this particular example, I have my Rogue Trip Vacation game, basically, along with the other two files that we need for PopStarter to work with the USB method. And then we also have this, this game folder, basically, related to this VCD file. This folder was actually created with the help of OPL Manager, so that helped make it a little bit easier with the automatic creation of that folder. And then inside here we have the cheats.txt and this particular game I have these particular cheats for the USB. So that's the USB method. We just talked about the SMB method. What does the hard drive method look like? So in the next portion of this video tutorial, we'll actually showcase what that looks like. It'd be easier to navigate on my TV and the PS2 and show you what that hard drive structure looks like. To copy over the cheat files to your PS2 fat internal hard drive, do whatever method you like. If you want to copy the files from a USB to the PS2, you can do that. If you want to use a rat host client, if you want to use 
PFS shell or you want to use like FTP program, whatever your poison, whatever you like to do, just just do it and um, you'll be good to go. So what I'm going to do next is the next portion of this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the internal hard drive method for those users where those cheat files go. And then we'll just play one example game and show you um, the cheats working basically. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, so here we are with my TV and my fat PS2. So I have the internal hard drive, I got the USB, and then I also have it connected through the network as well. So what we're gonna do is let's go to my ULaunch ELF program, and I'll show you where the cheats file is stored for the internal hard drive method. So what you do is go to HDD0, and then you're gonna to go to the partition, which is the underscore, underscore common, so I'm just going to wait for this to load here in a second. So go to here to the common partition. Go into your POPS folder. And if you played games uh, before, you'll automatically have this, the, you know, the name of the game folder basically. And inside this folder is where you dump your cheats.txt file. So um, I have one game currently installed on this hard drive right now. And it's actually the Crash Bandicoot. So we'll showcase that for today's tutorial running a game off the internal hard drive with the cheats enabled. So let's go ahead and let me run my OPL from within my boot folder. And I think my settings right now, I have everything turned on like USB and ethernet and internal hard drive. So we'll see actually three different games on my screen here in a second. Um, so I have Crash Bandicoot that's on, on my internal hard drive, Marvel vs. Capcom on my computer, and then the road trip vacation game off my USB. So let's just showcase one example game here, Crash Bandicoot. I know this is a fan, a favorite, and it's one of my favorite games as well. So PS2, internal hard drive, I think that's like an awesome way to play your games. Just one big hard drive and store all your favorite games in one collection, so that's pretty cool. And I had no issues playing this game on internal hard drive, external hard drive or SMB if anybody is interested. Frame rate's great, music's great, doesn't skip, it's awesome. Let me turn the music up a little bit. So I have two cheats enabled. One is basically I turn on level select. So even though this is a new game, I can just go all over the place even to the last world, so that's pretty fun. But let's just go into the first level here. And one other cheat that I have enabled is the, you know, the 99 uh, apples or whatever you call it here. And I'm gonna jump on this crate here and get a bunch of lives, watch this, it's pretty funny. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So this is the cheat, you're not supposed to be doing that, but I did it. So that is today's video game tutorial using how to use cheats with Pop Starter for the SMB, USB, and internal hard drive method for the Pat PS2. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.